Hi everyone, welcome back to Homemade by Jenny. Today I'll be showing you a Italian meatball recipe. These are the ingredients we'll be using. I have here just one pound of ground beef, one pound of ground pork, we got some minced shallots, some minced garlic, sliced up flat parsley, grated Parmesan cheese, one egg, some salt and pepper, and a cup of sugar in there. So in this large mixing bowl, Bowl. I'm actually going to be putting in all my ingredients. I'm going to add in the beef, add in my pork, the shallots, garlic, Parmesan cheese, parsley. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna add one egg. That's it. Now I'm gonna mix it all up with my hands. Just folding it over and mixing it into the middle here. Once it's all nice and incorporated, all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them into little meatballs and put them into a tray. And trays are pretty much. Just about yay size. Put it in a tray. I'm gonna keep making them until they're all finished. I'm just finishing up my last meatball here. And after this is done, we're gonna bring it over to the frying pan and we're gonna start frying these off to get some coloring on the exterior. Now you can also bake these meatballs off as well and once you finish baking them, you basically can bake them at 400 degrees for about half an hour and then take them out. Now that I've finished rolling out all the meatballs at this stage, you can just leave it in this baking tray and bake it in the oven for about 400 degrees for half an hour. And then you can just cool it down and store it in the freezer for later use. And to warm up, you just have to put it in a sauce or a gravy of some sort. But because we're making it for dinner tonight, so I'm just going to be putting this into a pan to fry it on all sides and then adding them into the tomato sauce to cook. First, I have here my frying pan to it. I'm gonna just add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And then I'm gonna turn on the stove. As it comes up to temperature, I'll be able to add in the meatball. These are the meatballs. Now that the temperature of the oil has come, uh, and it's hot enough. I'm just gonna put in the meatball to cook on all sides. I just want at this point to cook over medium high heat just to get the coloring on all sides of the meatball. Just
perfect. Just enough room. Just going to turn it on high again. As you can see, it's starting to cook. Yeah. Just going to keep an eye on them. And once they change color, I'm just going to fringe them. Cooking away and sizzling. Only if you can smell it in here. It smells so good right now. So it's gotten some color. So I'm just going to turn it. I want to get color on all sides. going to continue to do this until all the meatballs have turned kind of golden like this on all sides. And we're going to add in our tomato sauce. Okay, you see that all the meatballs are getting some colors on all sides. And then keep turning it until all sides are nice and golden. And keep an eye on your meatballs you're doing on a frying pan. Otherwise, if you're not sure, just feel free to pop it in the oven. It's also very easy. These meatballs are great to store in the freezer for if you're short of time or you just need something quick and easy for dinner. They're really great as an entree on its own. It's great on pasta. Okay, now that I've got some really nice golden color on each side of the meatball, it's time to add in your favorite pasta sauce. You can add in your favorite jar of pasta sauce at this time and let it cook. Or you can also make your own. Uh, check out my recipe for a pasta sauce. And then right now I'm just going to add in my pasta sauce. Okay, now that I've added the pasta sauce, I've turned also the heat down as well, and now you can see I'm just going to put a lid on this and let it simmer for about half an hour. Yes, the meatball has been cooking and simmering for about 15 minutes. I'm actually gonna just flip the meatballs over so all the ports are incorporated and get sauced all over. Just gonna turn them over. And then put the lid back on to cook again for another 15 minutes. While this is cooking away, I've also put up a pot of hot water or water to boil so that I can cook my pasta. And tonight, we're actually going to have spaghetti. Once the water has come to a boil, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt to cook our pasta. Tonight, we're only going to use half a packet of the pasta noodles. So. Once the water comes to a boil, and I added a teaspoon of the salt, now I'm just gonna add in the pasta to cook. Okay. Now that the pasta's cooked, I'm just gonna take out some of the pasta 
and put it onto a plate. That's about the right amount. And now I'm just going to take the sauce and scoop over. Probably a serving is good with about two meatballs on here. And I'm just going to grate some cheese. with some black cracked pepper. I also like to do just a tiny splash of olive oil on top. And that's our final spaghetti and meatball for tonight. Hope everyone enjoy. If you like my recipe, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipe. Thank you and happy eating again.